Hi, my name is Mike Gary, and my company is Yardley Wealth Management. We're a fiduciary fee-only financial planning and wealth management firm in Newtown, Pennsylvania. That's in Bucks County. I saw a recent article um, by Mark Holbert in the Wall Street Journal, and Mr. Holbert uh, follows newsletters um, and digests them. Uh, he, he's been doing it for a really long time. Anyway, one of the things he said was to be wary of uh, jumping into a fund that um, was like the leader the previous year or, or the best one. Ordinarily, the, the fund at the top of the rankings is an actively managed fund, and oftentimes it was the best performing fund because it, it took more risk. Um, and sometimes it's the best performing fund because it got lucky in taking that risk. Uh, you know, not always. You don't you don't know if it's luck or skill. But you know, in any one year, you, you can't uh, say that it's that you know it's skill. It could be luck. And so, if that luck turns um, and you have an outsized risky portfolio, well, you might do pretty poorly next year. And he's got a lot of info that uh, and data that backs that up. Uh, high performing funds tend to have reversals where they 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 lag pretty pretty hard. So, you know, you want to look for funds, I think, that, that perform really well, you know, in the top half or top quartile in their peer group, but picking the absolute best fund is probably not a good idea. If it happens to you, at, and, you know, and you've gotten it and it did, did real well and, you, and it's lucky, that's great, but uh, don't think that that's necessarily going to last. Again, my name is Mike Gary and my company is Wealth Management.